Hello friends, my name is Harsh Vardhan and I have secured 10th rank in Indian Forest Service 2017 examination. So, I would like to share my experience with all of you who are uh, studying for both civil services and Indian Forest Service examination. So, to give a brief background, I did my engineering from Bits Pilani, Hyderabad campus in uh, 2013. And then after that, I was working at Deloitte and simultaneously I started my preparation. So, coming to the examination, uh, we all know Indian Forest Service is one of the all India services uh, apart from uh, IAS and IPS. Uh, it's a very good service to be in. So, the first uh, part of uh, cracking Indian Forest Service examination is the prelims. So, that's the most difficult area. Uh, I would say, all the people who are aiming for IFS uh, take a aim of at least 140 plus score in prelims to be on the safe side. You will clear both civils and Indian forest service cutoff. So after that, mains is not such a difficult part once you clear the prelims in Indian forest service. For uh, mains, my optionals were mathematics and my second option was forestry. Uh, my maths preparation was the same which I did for civil services, uh, not much difference and uh, forestry was the extra part. So my score uh, in mathematics uh, in the IFS 2017 is 269 out of 400, which is a pretty good score. And uh, for uh, I would like to share my uh, thoughts on why I took maths option. So first thing is uh, it is there is one option which is common in civil services and Indian Forest Service, so you have an advantage. The second thing is 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 the scoring part. Maths is highly highly scored. And uh, if you get the numerical completely right, nobody can stop you from uh, getting the maximum marks. And uh, seeing the other options like uh, geography, uh, PubAd or uh, anthropology, where uh, you not only need uh, good uh, knowledge, you also need good answer writing practice. Similar answer writing practice does not very much exist with maths because uh, if you get the answer uh, correctly and if your main steps are there, you will get good, good score. And that is my opinion. Now, uh, many people are scared about taking maths as an optional. I would say it's not very tough. And especially in Indian Forest Service, the optional level, it's, it's not tough. You can, you need not be from IIT or BITS or NIT or any other top college. Even an average person who works hard and prepares maths for almost any year, he can crack the exam with maths option. Now, uh, let, when you are done with a chapter, uh, the main part is problem solving. How much ever you read the theory, it won't help you unless you solve the problems on your own. Now, when you solve the problems, I would say, always adopt pen and paper approach. Never ever read a solution of a given problem because these textbooks which we follow, solutions will be given directly for almost all the problems. And one major mistake people do is they just read the solution. They don't do it on their own. So never do that mistake because you will never be able to replicate that solution in the exam hall and at, I mean that stress level of the exam hall. So always adopt a pen and paper approach while practicing maths and practice maths as much as possible. Practice the same problem again and again. It's not that you have to mug up the problem, it's just that things should start flowing in your blood. So that uh, even if uh, Somebody asks you to solve a problem, in, uh, if I wake you up in the midnight and ask you to solve a math problem, you should be able to do it without referring to the formulas or without referring to the textbook. So that is one thing, practicing using pen and paper. The next thing is make a summary sheet. Summary sheet for all the important formulas and if you want some uh, concepts to be written in the summary sheet, add those concepts, okay. Don't make the summary sheets big. The summary sheets are not your notes, they are just revision notes for you to do revision one day before your mains examination, alright. And uh, keep updating your summary sheet, add, keep adding new formulas or uh, new tricks or new, new methods of solving a problem, just keep updating your summary sheet. And uh, the next part is the previous year question papers. It's a very, very important area I'm telling you. For both civil services and Indian forest service, do the mathematics previous year question papers. Uh, actually, it's hard to find solutions. but uh, most of the questions are lifted either directly or indirectly from the standard textbooks. So, if you open the standard textbooks like for OD, we have Raisinghania. 
many of the ODE problems, you will find them in Rice scenario. So, if solutions are available or you can ask your friends, but go through the previous year problems. That's very helpful, I'll tell you. So, that's, that's with the maths, I would say. Uh, these three areas, pen and paper approach, previous year papers and the stan standard textbooks. These three things will uh, almost take a uh, year or so for you to prepare mathematics and uh, you will start seeing the results. Uh, okay. And the last part I want to add regarding mathematics is the test series. It's a very critical area. I have seen many people who's, uh, who, think, who think that test series is not required for maths, uh, but uh, I will say that is a wrong approach. Please join a uh, test series. I have joined uh, IMS test series. Uh, for mathematics and the uh, best part I liked about it was it ha most of the tests are full length tests and uh, it gives you an examination scenario like uh, as if you are really writing an examination. It really gives a feel of the real examination. This test series uh, not only uh, uh, the, uh, the current test series you can even refer to the old IMS test series papers also if you want but I would say please please join a test series and write it without fail don't skip any test. And that will give you immense practice, immense practice. So that's the last thing. And uh, uh, specifically regarding uh, forestry mains, uh, <coughs> I would say apart from maths, uh, forestry is a good optional which you can take. For forestry optional, uh, I think one month is enough. Uh, you don't need much time. So after you are done with the mains examination of civil services, you can start, you have, you'll have almost a month time. Start preparing. Uh, for forestry optional. Don't take forestry lightly. I have seen many people who think that forestry is environment, environment. For, forestry is not environment. So, don't think that your GS studies will, your GS environment will help you here. No, there are, there's a lot of uh, stuff which uh, like silviculture and uh, regeneration, for forest inventory, a lot of areas which we have no, we haven't read it before any time. So, please dedicate one month properly for forestry and uh, I was able to secure good marks uh, 213 out of 400 which is pretty good. I'll aim for 200 plus out of 400 in forestry optional. Then um, regarding the GS part in uh, forestry mains, uh, nothing much special preparation is needed. Whatever you have been doing for civil services, I think that would be enough for uh, general studies mains. The one difference between the two mains is that in uh, forestry, uh, more short answer type of questions are asked rather rather than uh, civil services where uh, we have 10 markers and 15 markers here we have a lot of 10 markers and uh, less number of 15 markers sometimes even one one line questions are asked that is one difference and uh, one more very important paper in uh, forest services means is english this is a, again one area where many people take it very lightly thinking they will uh, easily write an essay or in uh, and they'll get good marks no, uh, in English the critical part is the grammar. So prepare grammar beforehand. Practice from the previous year uh, grammar questions, and uh, there is also letter writing, essay writing, and PC writing. And these all things we uh, you have you have been doing in civil services also. So they should not bother you. The main focus should be on the grammar part. That is the most scoring part in English exam English uh, paper. So overall my main score in uh, Indian Forest Service was pretty good. Uh, almost uh, uh, you can check the IMS website or even if I would have got less marks in interview also still I would have been through. By the way interview I scored uh, 186 mm -hmm. uh, this year. So that is uh, about Indian Forest Service. Please uh, take my last uh, advice would be please take uh, the Indian Forest Service mains examination seriously. There are many people I have seen who take it lightly. They don't read English. They, they even don't read forestry, they just concentrate on one optional and they neglect other, other areas. I'm sure maths you would have already done a lot of practice beforehand because that's your optional for civils. But practice forestry, practice English, English grammar and practice your uh, uh, GS, uh, re revise your GS before going for the forest means examination. So that's it from, from my side and I would like to really thank uh, Venkana sir here. And uh, his uh, test series are the best thing, uh, very good they are. Uh, apart from test series, even uh, IMS notes are also very good. Then uh, 
those like I uh, I am not from Delhi. Uh, I am from Hyderabad. And even if you you are not in Delhi, you can still uh, enroll for test series online, and you can get your doubts cleared. So that's not an issue. So thank you very much, and uh, all the best for all you guys. Thank you.